Friends, who doesn't like being influential and being liked by people? When people like us, it has many benefits like you will never be alone, people who love you are with you to help you in any work or like you. It becomes easy to get people's consent or their support in doing any work with you, but being influential is not an easy thing. In this video, we will talk about those seven habits by adopting which even an ordinary person can become an influential person. You can become a person and if you adopt these habits in your life then you will not even know and people around you will keep getting influenced by you. Wherever you go, people will be drawn towards you. So let's start today's story. There lived a boy named Rihan in a village. He was worried that he was not an effective person. Despite trying hard, he was not able to influence people with his words, work and his nature. He had a heartfelt wish that he became such a person with whom everyone would listen, with whom everyone would want to work and spend their time, but everything was going wrong with him, neither anyone liked to spend time with him nor anyone took his words seriously. Overall, that boy was completely ineffective among the people. It did not matter much to anyone whether he was present or not. Due to all these incidents, his self-confidence was also decreasing day by day. Seeing his condition, he became very sad and he started feeling troubled. Outside the same city where Rihan lived, a Buddhist monk also lived. That Buddhist monk was famous for his very influential personality. Whoever met him got influenced by him. He could not live without meeting him. He used to talk to him. His manner of expressions and his way of understanding and convincing people was very effective and attractive. Everyone said that he is a very influential person whose personality has such a magic that fascinates anyone one day in the evening. That boy was sitting on the bank of the pond with a sad heart, then one of his friends comes to him and says, Friend, I have found the solution to your problem. Hearing this, Rihan becomes very happy and asks what is the solution, then his friend tells. That I have come to know about a Buddhist monk who has an impressive personality and I am sure that he will definitely have the solution to your problem. Hearing this, Rihan agreed to his words. Rihan asked the Buddhist monk for all his information. The problem tells how he wants to become an influential person but even after trying a lot he is not able to become such a person. The Buddhist monk listened to Rihan with full attention and then said, What do you want? Rihan said people say hearing this, the Buddhist monk said seriously that your personality is very impressive, so how can I make my personality impressive like yours? First of all, you should understand that to become an influential person, it is not a good personality but character. It is important because if a person has a good personality then he can influence people for some time but very soon people will understand that there is some meaning behind his work. There is some purpose but if your if your character is good then everyone will like to be with you and you will keep influencing the people around you and you do and even realize it but remember for this you will have to change from within so will you yourself to become an influential person. Be ready to change from within. The boy said, Yes Maharaj, I will try my best. The Buddhist monk said that there are seven habits within an influential person which you will have to adopt. The monk started saying that the first habit is to be active i.e. be proactive in whatever happens around us. It also happens. We can't change it but how to react to it is completely in our hands. Becoming a proactive person means that no matter what people around us say, we should not get distracted by it when people criticize us. If they say something bad about us, then the fault lies not in us but in them. Whatever negative things they say about us, we come to know about their negative perspective from which they are looking at the world. Being a proactive person. It also means that we should not be affected by any bad situation, whether the weather is bad or there is a sudden problem somewhere in the house. A proactive person does not care whether bad times come in his life or poverty, he remains happy in every situation. Such a person keeps doing his work quietly without complaining even in the worst situations and even in the best days of his life he does not become unruly but still keeps himself calm and stable. The opposite of a proactive person is a reactive person. Such a person gets influenced very quickly by the environment around him. If someone speaks ill of him, he he becomes sad. If someone praises him, he becomes happy. 
If something bad happens to such a person, he himself also becomes bad, then now you must have understood that a reactive person can never become an influential person because his control is in the hands of someone else. Whenever the other person wants, he can trouble him by speaking ill of him or making him angry whereas the control of a proactive person is completely in his own hands. No one can make him sad or upset unless he wants to. He does not care what the other person says or thinks about him. A proactive person is an influential person, so you also have to remain a proactive person and not a reactive person. Second habit, start with the end in mind. This means that whenever you make a big goal, you should clearly know that you why are you doing the work and how to complete it i.e. at the beginning of every work you should clearly know the reason for doing it and the plan to complete the work and once you have understood the why and how of your work. Once you find out, then your small daily tasks and their results should be towards your goal and should match your plan. If you are not doing what is necessary for your goal every day, then you will never be able to be an effective CA and be a person like if you have set a goal to lose weight and if you are not working hard and sweating every day then it means that your daily activities are not matching with your goal and its plan. There is a difference between what you say and do and in this way people will never be influenced by you so if you want to become an influential person then you should clearly know the reason for your work and the way to complete it and also your thoughts and actions should also match with that. The Buddhist monk further said, the third habit is to do important things first. There are many tasks in front of us in a day, but we cannot do everything, so we should do our most important tasks first. But what is the important work? Look son, important work is the work that we personally consider most valuable. Doing the most important things first means that we focus our time and energy on the things that are most important to our goals and our life. Now, if you are not able to complete even your important tasks, then the reason for this is not that you are undisciplined but it is because till now you have not kept the most important tasks in your heart and mind and never even thought that this why is work the most important thing for you. The real problem is not too much work, but not being able to say no to unnecessary things. As if you were doing some very important work, but then a friend of yours comes and says let's go for a walk. Come and we will also talk but if your important work is sitting in your mind then you will immediately refuse him to go with full politeness and this is what you have to do, do not do all the unnecessary work of the day till then. Until your most important tasks are completed, you must have now understood that influential people finish the most important tasks first. The monk further said that the fourth habit is to look for your own benefit as well as the benefit of others in any work. Also think about, most of the people live their life comparing and competing with others. They see their success in the failure of others i.e. if I win then you lose and if I lose then you win. In this way life becomes a game of win or lose. But influential people do not believe in competition but in mutual cooperation. They believe that there is enough of everything in this world for everyone and everyone should get their share, not only for things but also for mutual relationships. People also apply this rule such that whenever they have a disagreement with someone, instead of keeping it in their mind, they openly talk about it with that person and find a middle path that is amicable for both of them. It is beneficial for both of them to win rather than the other person feeling cheated and by doing this they eliminate mutual rifts and also make relationships stronger than before. So now you must have understood that to become effective you have to apart from yourself, you also have to think about the benefits of the other person. Fifth habit, first try to understand others yourself, then expect them to understand you. The best way to communicate with anyone is that first of all we should try to understand what the other person wants to say, rather I would say that the best way to listen and understand what any person is saying is to put ourselves in his place and think, only then we will be able to understand properly. What does the other person want to say to us? When we do not listen to someone carefully, then we start giving advice to him without understanding his feelings, but when we try to understand him, only then do we come to know that in reality how is that person feeling and when we listen to someone in this way, only then we will be able to give some good advice to that person, it will really help him. Most of the people keep saying only this during the conversation that if if I were in yours place, I would have done the same or look at my point once, 
but they never try to understand what the other person is doing and the result is that the other person never trusts them and then neither do they ever bring their problems to them, so if you really want to help someone then first of all try to understand them, by doing this you will be able to win their trust and they will be assured that there is a real reason behind your work. There is no benefit or purpose of any kind, you just want to help them and then in this way they will also start understanding you and this is the fifth rule of becoming an influential person. The monk said the sixth rule of influential people is mutual coordination and cooperation. People who influence others understand that two minds are always better than one, so they try to solve any problem by cooperating with each other, but human due to nature, it is not so easy to adjust to you because everyone's experiences and worldview are different and influential people also understand this, so they try to understand and accept each other's thoughts and viewpoints and forgetting mutual differences. They work together because they understand that every person has his own experience, thinking and characteristics. When people with different characteristics, experiences and thinking work together, the result of that work is better than that of one person. There is more good and new, so influential people like to work together with different thinking people so that they can learn new things and get some new and unique experience. The monk further said that influential people are the last help. They do something or the other. Every day to keep themselves physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually fresh. Influential people understand very well that if there is anything most important in their life, it is their body and their mind and they to keep their body strong and healthy, they learn and do something new every day. To keep their body strong and healthy, they do some physical activity every day like exercising or practicing yoga to fill their mind with new information. They learn something new every day or keep reading, for this they read books, talk to new people or go to new places. Many people are influential because they keep learning something or the other throughout their life. They keep giving new information and to keep themselves emotionally fresh, these people take the help of meditation or solitude. Many times, to bring newness within themselves, these people cut themselves off from the outside world for a few days. These people are also spiritually active, for this they worship and worship those who have faith in God. In simple words, influential people continuously improve themselves and keep their body, mind and soul fresh. And if seen carefully, this seventh habit is the most important and effective among all the habits because without it the remaining six habits will not be as effective as they should be and no matter how effective a person is, if he if you do not keep yourself mentally, emotionally and spiritually fresh, then gradually your influence will start reducing. So, these were the seven habits of becoming an influential person, by adopting which any person can become influential. Listen to all these things of the Buddhist monk. After this, the boy also became confident that after adopting these seven habits, he too can become an influential person. For this, he thanked those monks and happily left from there with his friend. What did you learn from today's video, you can tell me in the comments. Along with this, I hope that you liked today's video, then share this video with the person who needs to hear this story and the same. After that subscribe the channel then let's meet again in another new video with a new message till then take care of yourself thanks and namo budhaya.